All right, so here we are at the Mill Creek Central Railroad on a Memorial Day weekend meet, work and run. The locomotive's been doing great, and this video is overdue for the electrical work, but I'll go over it quick here. We've got two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries a piece connected in series through the circuit breaker on top to create a 24 volt system. That power goes through the main switch there into the fuse panel onto the bottom where that splits off and feeds the motor controller this power distribution block and some of the other accessories on the locomotive such as the air compressor that is uh, hiding around the back there in the center. Now the three switches to the left of the main disconnect one of them is for the 12 volt which just to the left of the lights there this box here is a 24 volt to 12 volt converter that runs the headlights and the sound system that uh, silver toggle switch in the far left controls that. The center switch runs the air compressor, or turns the power on and off to it. And the silver toggle switch on the far right disconnects the motors. When the motors are engaged, it, uh, it's basically trying to charge and regenerate. And you really cannot push it or freewheel it at all. So being able to disconnect the motors makes it a lot easier to roll it in and out of a trailer. Here is the controller, has 15 wires that go onto it through a uh, VGA type computer cable. Six of those wires are all for the motor controller between a power, ignition on, a ground, and three for the speed uh, switch or speed potentiometer here. The rest of the functions are all for sound or setting the air brakes. We have the horn and bell, light, high and low. We can turn the sound system on and off and the main power for the motor controller. We also have a battery meter here in the center, which works, seems to work well. I'll put in some pictures here, but I've been running uh, for probably about six hours today, most of the time with uh, anywhere from seven to 10 cars behind it. And I never had any problems with the batteries. So anyhow, the air compressor is here on the back. I threw it on the charger when I went out to dinner just to make sure I had plenty of uh, battery for the night runs coming up here. Here's a closer look at the air compressor, which goes into this air tank here. This is actually a paintball air tank. You can see on the side it says Tipman. That is a brand for paintball stuff. And then we have a 90 PSI pressure switch. The gauge on the left is for the reservoir pressure. The gauge on the right is for the brake line pressure. I don't have the brakes on my cars yet, so I don't have any compressed air in that reservoir. On the back of the panel, you can see the rear of the switches on top. The device on the top right, which is... Uh, this guy here, that's the dimmer for the headlight. That's actually a small motor controller. The soundboard is beneath that. That is a MyLoco sound soundboard. And the amplifier is just below that. So it's been doing really good. I sure put it through its paces this weekend. And uh, no problems, can't complain one bit. If you have any questions, put them down below. Maybe I'll answer them in another video. Thanks for watching.